Hi, my name is Darren Feist, and I'm the Vice President of Sales here at Aeration Industries International in Chaska, Minnesota. Today I'd like to talk to you about our Aero 2 Microfloat Unit that we use in our DAF. Our Aero 2 Microfloat Unit is a dispersed air flotation system compared to a dissolved air flotation system. The Microfloat Unit is a dispersed air flotation system that uses microbubbles. We use the microfloat unit to remove fat soil and greases, FOG. We also use it to remove suspended solids and BOD. Its principal use is industrial pretreatment, and it, it is easy retrofitted into existing DAF tanks. The microfloat unit has a specially designed stainless steel diffuser disc. This disc creates very small microbubbles, 10 to 50 micron. These micron bubbles easily, easily attach to the fat, soil, and grease and the solids in the wastewater and float them to the top. One microfloat unit can cover 64 square feet. This is a microfloat unit in operation. And this is from the viewing window in our test pool down below. Our standard sizes for the microfloat are 9 foot to 20 foot in diameter, which covers flows from 95 gallons a minute up to 471 gallons a minute. Here is a 3D rendering of our DAF unit. This is a system diagram of our dispersed air flotation. On the left, you can see the influent comes in and enters into the contact well, where the microfloat unit is there adding microbubbles. Then we have a skimmer arm and a scum beach where we remove the floatables. And on the bottom, we have a solid scraper to just dispense of the heavier solids. And then on the far left, you can see we have the clear effluent leaving the unit. This is a photograph of the scum beach in operation. In this slide, I'd like to point out the differences between the microfloat unit and the conventional dissolved air flotation system. On the left, the top diagram is of the Aero 2 microfloat unit, and the bottom is of a conventional dissolved air flotation system. Highlighted in pink are the equipment that is different for each of the systems. On the top, you can see you will use a microfloat unit to produce the micro bubbles. On the bottom diagram, you will see that you need to have some piping, a recirculation pump, an air compressor, an air regulating valve, an air dissolving tank, and a valve controlling the flow back into the system. This is much more complicated and requires flow balancing and has extra piping and valving. Now I'd like to talk about some of the microfloat design guidelines. We recommend that you have a hydraulic retention time of 60 minutes, and you have a rise rate of 1.5 gallons per minute per square foot. Typical solids loadings are 1 to 2 pounds per hour per square foot if you are using the unit without chemical. If you're using chemicals, you can have 2 to 4 pounds per hour. We also know that you get the best consistent effluent if you have a consistent feed, flow rate, and quality. Typical removal efficiencies without chemicals are as follows. 90% removal of FOG, 60% removal of TSS, and 30% removal of BOD. Some of the features and benefits of the system are, it is simple to operate and simple to maintain. It is energy efficient because you have just one microfloat unit and one small drive unit for the scraper. You do not have injectors that plug. There is a variety of designs available. You can either do concrete or stainless steel or carbon steel. You have a round or rectangular tank as an option, and the internals can either be carbon steel or stainless steel. We can also retrofit existing DAF systems into a dispersed air flotation. We would use the existing tank and scrapers. We would add the microfloat units as seen in the diagrams. We actually have a side extension that can be used in some applications. It is quick and easy to install, it is low cost, and it saves you operation and maintenance costs. Now I would like to touch on why you might add chemicals to the system. 
By adding chemicals, you can increase the flocculation and improve your removal efficiencies. You can use chemicals to adjust the pH so you can break the oil emulsification. Coagulants are used to bind particles together. Flocculants, like polymers, are used in the settling process. And the best way to determine what chemicals are best for your system is to do jar testing. What applications would be best to use the dispersed air flotation system? Over here on the right, we have a list. Food production, tank and truck washing, slaughterhouse operations, vegetable and seed oil processing, meat and poultry processing, milk and dairy facilities, petroleum processing, the paper industry, and sludge thickening. Now I would like to go through a few installations of the microflow unit. In this, we have a food production plant that was removing vegetable oil from their processed water. The flow rate was 50 gallons a minute, and they added sulfuric acid for pH adjustment. The influent loading was COD of 2,500 milligrams per liter and the TSS of 500 milligrams per liter. The effluent concentration leaving the unit was 200 milligrams per liter of COD and 50 milligrams per liter of TSS. That equates to a 90% 92% removal of COD and 92% removal of TSS. Here's another example where we were removing oil from a soybean processing plant. This flow rate was 50 gallons per minute and they were adding a polymer to aid in the coagulation. The COD was 5,000 milligrams per liter and the influent TSS was 2,500. The effluent concentrations were 2,000 milligrams per liter for COD and the TSS was 230 milligrams per liter. This yielded a COD removal rate of 60% and a TSS removal rate of 91%. Here is a meat processing plant where they were removing FOG, TSS, and BOD. It was a 175 gallons per day plant and they added no chemicals. So the influent BOD was 852 milligrams per liter, the TSS was 836 milligrams per liter, and the fog was 500 milligrams per liter. The effluent concentration was 309 milligrams per liter, the TSS was 183 milligrams per liter, and the FOG was 46 milligrams per liter. So this yielded results of 64% removal of BOD, 78% removal of TSS, and 91% removal of FOG. In this example, we have a poultry processing plant, and they were trying to remove the FOG or fog and the TSS. The flow rate was 150 gallons per minute, and they were adding no chemicals. The results are as indicated below. The influent loading was 1,200 milligrams per liter of TSS, and a fog of 250 milligrams per liter. The effluent concentrations leaving the unit were 200 milligrams per liter of TSS and 40 milligrams per liter of FOG. This yielded a re reduction of 83% in TSS and 84% in FOG. In summary, the microflow unit is compact, quick, and easy to install, has low capital and operating costs, is simple to operate, and has low maintenance costs. It reduces the cost to treat the wastewater downstream. You can recover some of the byproducts. It, the key to the process is the microbubbles produced by the microflow unit. I hope that answers some of your questions about the dispersed air flotation system. Thank you for listening today, and I look forward to talking to you in the future. Goodbye.